Good morning. I'm actually up relatively early this morning, which is so unlike me for a weekend. Honestly, this was the only... You hear that? Okay. This was the only mouthwash that they had in stock. They carry this at Wegmans. It's mild mint. Literally tastes like they took an entire liter of water and just put like one mint leaf in. So I don't recommend this one, but it's all we got. Just getting ready because I have a pretty jam-packed day today, but I wanted to start it off with like a little bit of movement. So after I do all this, I'm gonna chug some water, go on a little walk. I don't have like plans, plans until later. I think that John and I are going to this like new mini golf thing. It's like an indoor mini golf arcade putt shack. They just opened one in Center City, Philly. So I think we're gonna go there and I also think we're grabbing dinner tonight, but that's also not till later. So I have a lot of stuff to do until then. I do have to get these nails done. I don't know if you guys can see these. They're not, okay, they're bad, but they've been worse, right? But the issue is that like a week after I got my nails done, I was doing my leg day. I literally got them done on Sunday and then that Friday I had my full leg day and I was trying out RDLs on this machine that my gym has. I knew that the person didn't re-rack their weights, but I didn't realize that adjusting the machine while the weights were on it was going to be such a big issue. So I did and as soon as I like moved the little pin to re-rack the machine or like move the machine, the whole thing came crashing down and fell on my nails really five days after I just got them done. So I have like that thing where like they come up and honestly, they've been like this for two weeks and they haven't fallen off. So I was about to just take them off at one point because every time I go to like do my hair, it gets stuck in the bottom of it. I hate it so much, but I didn't want to take them off because they still like looked fine and I didn't want to like be walking around without two nails. So I didn't. I need to invest in nail glue. I know. So I'm going to go do that today. And then we have to hit the gym. I have an upper body session. I'm going to take you guys with me. And I do have a little unboxing that I want to do because I got a couple things I want to show you guys. I feel like I haven't come on here and given a life update on like where everything's at in a minute. I honestly have filmed two other YouTube videos for a life update and I edited the one through and through. It was like pretty much done. All I needed to do was like, you know, little miscellaneous stuff, right? And I was watching it and I was like, this is like 14 minutes of me babbling. I just used some niacinamide serum. I got this at TJ Maxx, the jet lag mask from Summer Fridays. Oh my God, I am freaking obsessed with her. So I saw like a couple girlies raving about it on TikTok actually. And I was ordering new lip butter bombs, but I was like, I feel like I need to try it. So I got the smallest size. I did order the smallest size. They emailed me literally the day it shipped and they were like, hey, we're actually out of like the smallest size. So we're just gonna send you our largest size. And I was like, okay, customer service, bet. So they sent me their largest size. I tried it out. I literally was just going to try it out and save it for like when I would travel or whatever, but I am absolutely obsessed with it. It's so like lightweight and hydrating and I'm obsessed with it. I feel like my skin has just looked so much better since using it. I don't have any heat protectant right now. So I'm gonna use the Olaplex bonding oil. This is supposed to be a heat protectant, but I don't believe it. It says it on it. I don't buy it. I don't really even know why I'm straightening my hair right now because I'm gonna have to shower when I'm done at the gym anyway and wash my hair, but, but it does the job. Okay, like what the hell? Because I just walked out to my kitchen. I threw in, I got a Gymshark package and I wanted to do like a little try on haul for you guys, but I have worn them this week. So I wanted to wash them and my entire floor is flooded right now. What? I'm literally like. I do try to drink an entire liter of water before I do anything else. My digestive stuff. I already did my whole like gut routine. I feel like I've done that so many times for you guys. I don't want to be too repetitive, but I do want to give you guys a little life update while I eat my breakfast before I start my day. Breakfast is kind of boring looking, but it is 100 grams of chicken and then 50 grams of oats, it's supposed to be cream of rice, but I'm doing oats, 100 grams of berries, and then I put some cinnamon on top. It looks a little ugly, but does the job. I get a lot of questions about like, 
when I'm gonna compete again, what like my goals are right now, like if I'm going to compete again. Yes, um, I am, but I have a lot of growing to do. So basically after my last show, as you guys know, I suffered through like these gut issues and it took me quite a while to like fix them because it's an entire process and protocol that you have to go through with like supplements and diet and all this stuff. And uh, my training, I wasn't allowed to do like any intense training for like a few months. So I was only training like three days a week and I was doing really light workouts and just letting my body kind of like heal itself and reducing my stress. Once I got out of that, I started a growth phase, probably sometime around like, I wanna say like August, September is when I kind of started my first growth phase. And now we went on a cut. So my coach and I talked and he initially was like, I wanted you to compete the beginning of this year. So like now I just told him like, I don't think that I'm ready. Like, I just don't think that I'm big enough yet. I haven't really gotten to do like a full, like couple growth phases, if that makes sense. I've, I've only been able to do one and it was kind of a short one because I spent so long after my last prep doing this protocol. So like I did my show in October of 2022 and then November, December, we were kind of like figuring everything out. Like we knew that there was like an issue. We were like reverse dieting out of the show. Um, and then I think January was when I got the gut mapping done, like the GI mapping. And we got our results in like end of January-ish. And I started my protocol right after John's birthday dinner, which was around the beginning of February. So I started my gut protocol probably like mid-February. Did that all the way through um, and then started to reincorporate foods probably sometime around the summer. And then we went into a growth phase, like I said, sometime around like August. So I just feel like I haven't gotten enough time to be able to be like, yeah, I'm ready to prep because I only got those last couple months at the end of 2023 and to start a prep now at the beginning of 2024, it just like doesn't really seem like the most logical thing to do for me. Also, we already have like some traveling plans, some trips and stuff like that. So like you don't wanna be traveling too close to your show. It's just everything when you're prepping needs to kind of be like routine and controlled. Like you gotta control everything and you can do that here at home but when you're traveling it's a little bit more difficult we had like a discussion and between like that the fact that i feel like i'm not ready the fact that and just like financially i want to make sure that i'm in like a very good place like i i have like saved up to be able to prep rather than just being like okay like you know i'm good let's like jump in so there's just like quite a few things um so we did talk and Initially, we talked about like the end of 2024, like maybe sometime in like October, November. But um, I started looking kind of into shows and I found a couple in March of 2025 or like the beginning of 2025 that I'm kind of looking into. And then if I'm ready, I don't know. Again, I don't know how much progress. I don't know what I'm going to look like at the end of the year. Um, if I'm ready, I would roll into a national show. But uh, again, I don't I don't know. Not prepping for probably another uh, we'll say like year, less than a year, but like probably like nine months. Currently, we're on a cut. When I did my growth phase, let me tell you guys, it is not difficult for me to put on weight. It doesn't take a lot of food to be able to bulk, if that's if that makes sense. At the end of my growth phase, I was like 166 pounds. I'm 5'2", so it's it's a lot. Like, it is a lot, but that 166, I've weighed that before. And this 166 looked so much better than the 166 I was like years ago. So my body composition has definitely gotten a lot better, but we ended up doing like a cut around the end of October and I got down to 149. Um, my body was kind of fighting me a little bit just because it was getting a little tired. So we decided to go on a diet break for three weeks and my weight went up to like 153. So now we're back on the cut and I'm stalled. Like we literally dropped the food. My coach dropped the food. We increased cardio a bit and my weight is still like 152, 153 every single morning. So it's been about like a week and a half. My coach did tell me to get like a refeed or a cheat meal just to kind of hopefully spike up my metabolism. So I was supposed to do that on Wednesday, but by the time I got down at the gym, it was like 10 something and nothing was open. Like I couldn't get any food. So John and I are just planning on a little date tonight. That's kind of just like my update with like competing and stuff. I want to, I'm start, if you would have asked me, months ago, like last year, uh, if I wanted to prep, I would have been like, no, <laughs> I 
I don't want to prep. I'm not ready. Like just mentally. That's a huge thing too. You need to make sure that you're like mentally ready to prep. You can't just like go into it. Granted, like sometimes you do just have to like give yourself that push. I'm not saying that like you don't. I'm just saying that you just mentally have to like be ready for what's to come because prep is difficult. And if you're not mentally prepared for it, it's not gonna go very well. We have an unboxing to do. It's so funny because I'm literally sitting over here saying how badly I need to like save my money and like, you know, whatever. And then I go and I splurge. I've wanted new balances for a while, but I just like haven't pulled the trigger. And with as often as I wear sneakers, as often as I'm like walking around in active wear, I feel like it's only right, right? I love how I'm on the ground. Hold on, let me like readjust here. Hi, Nala. She's literally like, Nala, what are you doing? I got two pairs of the 9060s. The first one is a kid's shoe. So I got a size six, which is a size seven and a half, I believe in women's. And I just really wanted a plain, like white chunky sneaker that was super cute and these, yeah, these will do. I'm gonna take good care of these. Me and white sneakers do not mix because I literally wear them everywhere. I love them, but they get so dirty and then ooh, I'm like terrible at keeping them clean. So I'm gonna take good care of these, I promise. And then I did get another pair of 9060s. These are a women's seven and a half and I believe it's like concrete and something. I don't know the actual color name on the website, but on the box, it just says white gray. These are so cute. I love how they're just like a little more dimensional and they came with these gray shoelaces as well, just in case I wanted to like switch them. And then I do love the 9060s. I'm a big fan of like the chunky shoe, but I also wanted something that was just a little bit more like casual. I did get the 530s as well, just because they're a little bit more of like a casual shoe. I can wear them to the gym. I got these in a seven and a half as well. It says white blue on the box. They're so cute. I'm a New Balance girly now. Just got to the nail salon. I'm on Pinterest right now, just trying to see if there's like any last minute thing that I want, but I think I'm just gonna wing it and go in and like grab whatever. I always feel so rushed when I'm trying to pick a color when I don't have any clue what I want because I feel like I go to pick a color and then they come up like right behind you. And so I just like pick something, but I think I have a pretty good like idea of what I want. I don't want any designs. I just want to do Chrome again. I liked these though. They were very springy, very Eastery. I'll show you guys the final product. So we got the nails. I got this super pretty like white chrome color. I wanted something a little bit more natural. So like a white or a pink is kind of like where I was headed and I knew I wanted chrome, but I didn't like any of the pink chromes and the white chromes were nice, but I didn't want just like a plain white. I kind of wanted something a little bit springy. So this chrome has like a purpley greenish kind of tint to it in the light and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. The base is Funny Bunny and then he went in with the chrome two times and put clear polish on both times. So I love it. He did only do one base layer of Funny Bunny, which I was like pretty confused about because I was like, is it going to show up? And it turned out really well. So just trust, got to trust the process, man. And then John and I were supposed to go to that like mini golf thing that I talked about earlier. It's like an indoor kind of mini golf arcade bar thing. It's called Putt Shack. And um, he went to go book the tickets and they were sold out. So we have it booked for next weekend. This weekend, we're just gonna go try out a restaurant that he brought up like a couple times saying that he wanted to try, but he won't tell me what it is. All I know is that it's like American food. We always do crumble for our like little cheat meal desserts. So I picked up some crumble. Crumble's been doing this thing with like pies and cakes. So the past couple weeks they've had like pie or cake cookies. We did want to try that, but um, I had to slam on the brakes in the car because someone cut me off. So anyway, ignore that. This is like the oatmeal skillet cookie. I don't know. It looks bomb. Look at that. It's like a thick boy. And then this is key lime pie and it's an actual pie, but like cookie form. So there's like pie crust and then key lime there. So the whipped cream kind of came off here and there's no actual lime. I think there's supposed to be like a real lime, but that's okay. And then John wanted the cookies and cream and I wanted the pink sugar cookie, of course. Let's just move her over. We don't eat all of these. <laughs> we do not eat all six cookies. Um, I will usually have about a cookie, maybe a cookie and a half, which is still like pretty hefty because they're pretty big cookies. I'll eat like a full half of one cookie and then I'll take a bite out of like the other two or something like that or like, I'll eat like a half of one cookie and half of another and then I'll take a bite out of like another cookie. So I don't actually ever have like all of them, but 
nonetheless, I'm excited. All right, got to the gym um, after a little bit of a shit show. So I did do a little try on haul with the Gymshark for Instagram, but I didn't have time to do it for YouTube because of course I'm running late. But I was really excited to wear those new balances that I showed you guys. I had it all picked out. I wasn't gonna wear these, I was gonna wear leggings. And I had the whole fit picked out and then I put them on and I'm like, these are like huge. Like these are like clown shoes on me. Like why are these so big? And I was like, they are a seven and a half. Like I checked, there's no way that I'm like a six in New Balance. Like there's no way there's that much of a difference. And I checked again and lo and behold, they were men's seven and a half that I ordered. So I ordered women's nines, men's seven and a half. So luckily the kids fit because I got that in the right size. But again, I'm not wearing the white ones to the gym. So I have to take the 530s and the 9060s that are the men's seven and a half. I was gonna return them at UPS on the way to the gym. Realized I went to FedEx and not UPS, so yay. And then I was like, you know what? Actually, I don't wanna wait 14 days for a refund because I'd rather just be able to get them like immediately and hopefully if they have like a New Balance store, maybe I could just get them at the store and not have to worry about like ordering them again. Worst comes to worst, I get a refund. There is a New Balance store in Philly, which is like 30 minutes from me. So since I have tomorrow off, I think I'm just gonna drive over there. So I might as well take you guys with me, you know? So we got our ons, which is fine because they're still cute, but we have a quick shoulder focused upper body workout. I am running very, very late. We have reservations at eight and it is six and I have a workout and cardio to get through and I have to get ready. So we're gonna go. I'm starting off with lateral raises just to get my shoulders a little warmed up before getting into our first compound, which is just, oh shit. Hello. It's gonna be the dumbbell shoulder press. Okay, the sports bra I have on though is so freaking cute. It's the Gymshark, um, I don't know, but it's the back day sports bra. Three sets of 12 to 15 lateral raises to start out with. So next we're gonna do dumbbell shoulder press, but I'm doing a pyramid set. So I'm doing 12, 10, eight, and six. Instead of increasing the weight for these sets, you can just try to increase the number of reps you get at that weight each week, which is what I'm gonna do. This strap is driving me a little crazy, but I'm trying to get eight at this weight. some dumbbell incline rear delt flies. Three sets of 15 here. You don't need a super heavy weight for this. The rear delt is that super tiny muscle on the back of your shoulder, your back delt, your rear delt. So you don't need a lot of weight to target it. Just make sure you're connecting with it and not letting your back or traps take over. to lateral raise. I'm just doing two sets here of like 12 to 15. We're gonna start in a front raise and then finish in a lateral raise. So it's gonna look something like this, front, lateral, down. There's probably a name for this, I just don't know it. I'm gonna finish off with some triceps, so I'm doing three sets of 12 on each exercise. I'm doing skull crushers and then I'm gonna do the rope cable tricep pushdowns. Skull crushers are like my least favorite exercise, but I still force myself to do them. check. Um, I just kind of threw this together last minute because we're running late as usual, but dinner was really good, but I immediately got home and changed into my comfy clothes. And now we're digging in. <laughs> Look at this. This is a thick boy. We got to heat this one up. This is key line. Oh, it's really cold. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. It's fucking thick. This is a thick, this is heavy. I don't want to touch your, okay. 
Mm. I like that. Wow. That's pie, all right. Wow, that's that's good. Nala loves icing. Oh. Oatmeal next. Are you not eating like the pie crust? No, I think I'm just gonna go in like this. Okay, whatever. Right. Ah. Oh, it's like maple. It's weird because it's mousse. Mm. Like, it's like a vanilla mousse. I can't oh. figure out how to eat this cookie. It's oatmeal cream pie vibes without like the white icing. I love this cookie so much. This is a staple. Mmm. I love this fucking cookie, man. Look at that. Oh, there it is. There it is. See, this is the finished product. This is what I mean. I should, I don't eat a full cookie. Or, I eat about one full cookie. We got three bites out of the key lime. Mm. I took like three or four out of the oatmeal. I get the better half of sugar cookie. This is a more visual description of the amount of cookie that I ate. Yeah, like one and a half. Mm -hmm. I probably had like a little over one. I just drove 45 minutes into Philadelphia to be there for like literally 15 minutes and then drive 45 minutes back. But I did take the New Balances in. They didn't have the 9060s in the store to be able to replace, but they did have the 530s. So they just refunded me for the 9060s and I reordered them online and then they gave me the replacement 530s. And it took everything for me like not to buy another pair of shoes while I was in there. But I was like, no, stop, don't do it. I've worked retail and I've worked in like food service and stuff like that. I've you know, throughout high school, college. I know what it feels like to not want to be there. Like, I know what it feels like to like not want to be dealing with people or like be at that job. So when somebody in retail or somebody like in food service or whatever that like is waiting on me, you can tell that they don't want to be waiting on me. You know, like I can tell that like they would rather be doing anything else. It makes me feel so shitty and so bad because it's like, I don't want to make you do work as it is and now you are showing me that like you don't want to do the work so you're just making me feel really bad so anyway i say all of that because i got to the new balance store and the guy there was like he was an older guy and i was directed to like the register so i went up to go return and i put the stuff down i was like hi how are you and he just didn't say anything and he just looked at me so i like stood there for a second and he was like what are what are you doing and i was like oh can i like return these please i ordered them online in the wrong size and uh, he like opened the one box of the 9060s and he goes, nope, and shuts it and then opens the other box. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. Like, why can't I return these? Like, they're brand new. Like, I literally just opened them. And he's like, I'm, no, we just don't have them here. You can't get like a new pair. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's not, you know. So I just, I felt really bad and I apologized a lot, even though I shouldn't apologize because like I'm not doing anything wrong. But I also just feel terrible when I'm like knowingly contributing to somebody's bad day. You know what I mean? Anyway, we're at Target. Um, I'm going to check and see if they have this like black one piece. I have a couple of things on Skims picked out that I want to order, um, but I'm just going to see if they have anything here at Target that I can get like a little bit more like immediate. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go inside and hopefully I don't buy anything that I don't need, you know? I'm going to say hi. Say hi. <laughs> like I said, I was able to exchange the 530s like relatively easily because they have them in stock, but the 9060s were a little bit more complicated, but I'm so excited. These are actually my size now. I did get some things at Target, so they didn't have exactly what I was looking for. Let me like move this camera over here where you guys can actually see me a little bit better. They didn't have like exactly what I was going for, so I may still order from Skims, but I'm gonna like wait a little bit. But I only have like one or two cute like crop tops or like tank tops that are basic enough so i got two like kind of what are they called like baby tees or boyfriend tees or whatever they're called but i just got a black and a white one the gray one was super cute but i don't trust myself wearing gray in the summer just because i don't want like pit stains but let me show you guys how stinking cute this shirt is i didn't try on the white one because i already knew the black one fit but i don't know if the white one's gonna be see-through or if i'm gonna have to wear like a bra but look how well this fits like look how cute this is 
And usually I can't wear crop top. Like normal crop top stuff is not cropped on me just because I don't have a torso. But I think that this is just such a cute little basic. It fits so well. Like it's actually tight and like flattering. It doesn't just hang on me. And then this is kind of what I went in looking for, but I wanted it in black. I like this color a lot. I'm not mad about it, but I do wish that they would have had a black, but I was just looking for like a nice one piece, like a nice like active wear piece. They did not have black, so I'll probably get like the black one off of Skims when I order. And then I walked by this and I don't have any sundresses and this fits so well. Like I just wanted to try it on to see if I liked it. Cause sometimes sundresses, you know, like they're super long. I'm only 5'2", but this was like the perfect length. So I tried it on and it was so stinking cute. It's so soft and it's so flattering. So um, maybe I'll wear this like next weekend if we go out to dinner and it's nice, but this is definitely gonna be more of like a summery thing or maybe like our Florida trip. All in all, um, actually it really wasn't that bad. I only spent like 30 something because I'm a Target circle whatever and everything was like 30% off. So. so I can show these real quick. Hopefully this doesn't topple over, please. Look at them. They're so cute. All right, guys, that is going to conclude this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below what you want to see next. I enjoy talking to you guys in the few times that I'm actually able to get on YouTube consistently. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. As always, I'll put my handle right here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.